Get up, cocksuckers, it's the 4th of July. I'm concerned about CERN. Welcome back to the Internet Trail Show. Or tits for short. Those motherfuckers over at CERN are at it again. They're turning on their Large Hadron Collider, the largest particle accelerator, tomorrow, July 5th. Have fun. Celebrate the 4th while you can. Tomorrow we're getting sucked into a wormhole. Quite frankly, I've gone down the rabbit hole on this one. I feel like my social media these past few weeks have been split between the science community just creaming their pants about turning this thing back on. And then the spiritual community shitting their pants that they're going to turn this thing back on. I'm a little concerned. I'll be the first to admit, I'm no physicist. I'm not like my buddy Luke who just graduates with a degree in physics. I'm the one actually out in the field listening to Joe Rogan running science experiments. What's Luke doing? Calculating if he could fizz this dick in his mouth? <laughs> I'm a simple layman. Should you take everything I say as a hundred percent scientific fact? Yes. Yeah, absolutely you should. A hundred percent. So let me explain it in a way all you smooth brains out there will understand. All right, I'll take it slow. What the dog do? CERN is essentially a European nuclear research organization in Switzerland. It's actually on the border of Switzerland and France. Think of it as a multi-government fashioned hippie commune. But instead of sharing like drugs and disease, they share science and knowledge. Dope, cool, all right, so why is everyone freaking out about it? Well, that's what I thought first until I dove into this shit. You might have even heard of CERN in the past. They developed this little thing called the World Wide Web. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. CERN isn't only the world's largest particle lab, it's also home to the 17 mile long machine known as the Large Hadron Collider or the LHC, which is the thing that is causing people to lose their shit. Last time the LHC was running, CERN actually discovered the Higgs boson. And let me tell you, that was a big deal in the science community. People fuck with the Higgs boson. After that, it then shut down and underwent some upgrades. You ready for this? More magnets, more power, more particles, more collisions. Let's fucking go, bro. Okay, so they've upgraded, their machine's as powerful as it's ever been, and they're trying to destroy the Tri-State area. Not quite, but what are they trying to do with the LHC? What's their goal? Well, that's kind of the question that's stirring everybody up. See, if you ask the scientists, they'll tell you they're searching for dark matter or the unanswerable questions of the universe. And if you ask the spiritual and conspiracy communities, they'll tell you they're trying to open a black hole or a portal. All right, let's hear from CERN what's going on. All right, deep state vibes right off the bat. Let's go. So today is a special day. Um, it's the end of the long shutdown for the LHC. Not only the LHC, but also the experiments in the LHC and the injector chain for the LHC. Uh, the long shutdown was used to upgrade the machine, to upgrade the injectors, to create more bright beams uh, in order for the number of collisions in the LHC to increase. Essentially, what the LHC does is it uses over 9,000 magnets to line up pieces of atoms, known as particles, accelerate them to near light speed, and crash them into each other to replicate the state of the universe after the Big Bang. The Big Bang, bro. And today, actually, the beam turned for the very first time again in the LHC at injection level, so not yet accelerated, injection. And then in the coming periods, we will increase the energy of the beam to the world record of 6.8 tera electron volts and then put the beams in collision. And this will happen in July when the real physics will start again. So essentially they're saying right now they're only using a test beam to calibrate and make sure all their equipment's running well and that they're gunning for gold on July 5th. They're gonna set world records and take home W's. 
Three of them, actually. World Wide Web. That's what they say they're doing, but what are they really doing 300 feet below the ground? Nineteen sixty nine, Hollywood faked the moon landing. Two thousand one, Bush did nine eleven. The Earth, it's flat. You might want to bust one of these out just for your own safety. On June sixteenth, two thousand and sixteen, CERN, C E R N, the European Organization for Nuclear Research in Geneva, started a project to accelerate charged particles. Ten days later, photographer Christoph Suarez posted a series of photographs of the skies above CERN. Those jaw-dropping photos showed the formation of strange clouds and were proof that the biggest experiment in the world is about to tear a portal into another universe open. Come on, really? Look, I have the hat on, I'm on your side, but that's your proof? That sounds like something Amber Heard's lawyers would use. Your Honor, what I'm about to show the courtroom today will ultimately prove that Amber Heard wasn't taking big, juicy, smelly, stinky fat turds in Johnny Depp's bed. This is a picture of a storm I took outside their house. Up until now, we've only seen such incidents in the movies. But now, after witnessing it in reality, people are not only concerned, but scared if the scientists have actually found a way to open a portal to another world. Uh, what's gonna happen next? Are we gonna be destroyed or meet ourselves in another dimension? Oh my god! But. What really is of everyone's concern is the comeback of CERN. Nobody knows what secrets it holds, and today we're gonna try to unravel the hidden truth about the gateway to the parallel universe. Bro, we survived COVID. Don't make us survive Stranger Things 2 now. Strangest thing I'll be surviving is Mrs. Wheeler. Hey, yo. In 2012, a watershed moment for the LHC was the discovery of the Higgs boson, also known as the God Particle. Astrophysicist Zen Liu at the University of Minnesota told the Daily Galaxy in an email that the Higgs boson, a critical component of the standard model, could play the role of the portal between the luminous world and the dark world. And now the conspiracies begin. Way ahead of you, big guy, but what the fuck is this? Because never in my life have I seen two motherfuckers conspiring harder than this. As the LHC began to run again on April 22nd, wild rumors began to circulate that CERN was opening a portal to hell in the quest of the God Particle. Stephen Hawking, a renowned scientist, also warned us about the God Particle. Yeah, no, y'all were joking, y'all were laughing, you thought these conspiracy theories were funny before this dude came out. When Stephen rolls up, you know it's serious. When they did, Hawking issued a stern warning. In his famous book, Starmus, the scientist claimed that the particle could one day be responsible for the destruction of the known universe. He wrote, The Higgs potential has the worrisome feature that it might become mega stable. Here, the biggest concern about the destruction is the formation of small. Hold on, replay that, replay that. Formation of small black holes. Did that black hole just suck that man off? Or was he just listening to some Kid Cudi? Small black holes that would expand and eventually decompose the world from within. To be honest, that all sounds like a big headache the day after the 4th of July. So if you're anything like me and you don't want to deal with a black hole tomorrow when you're hungover, stick around. I found a couple good TikToks that should teach us everything we need to know to survive CERN. So today I wanted to do a video on CERN. So I'm just going to give you my insight and what I think you should do, how you should prepare and what they're doing. But basically, they're opening up this portal again. They've been doing this for a very long time. And it has to do with atoms, energy, vibrations, and frequencies. All of those things are within the human body. So my advice is to keep your vibrations high, keep your energy at an all time high. Do not let any negativity get to you. Make the best out of it. Um, don't involve yourself in any, you know, malicious activity. Hey Jake, look, we're gonna have to reschedule the heist for tomorrow. They're turning CERN back on. We can't be doing anything malicious. Boost your dopamine and your serotonin levels. Those are the two main things that you're gonna need that day. Jake, the heist is back on. We okay. have to hit the largest supplier of dopamine and serotonin stack. What they're trying to do is scare you guys. As I mentioned in my last video, they're trying to create a mass hysteria because they want low vibrations. They want negative energy to be put in the air so that it's easier to control you. If your vibrations are low that day, once they turn that machine off, you're going to be stuck like that. You're going to be stuck with the negative feelings, the bad thoughts, everything. So... Make sure you're in a good headspace. Make sure you do stuff that keeps you happy because the point is to scare you and get more control over your mental. They don't want you to be awake. Did you get all that? Were you taking notes? Because I was. 
Okay, so what I can gather looks like we want to keep our vibrations and our energy high. Now, I'm not 100% sure on what that means. She didn't really specify on how to do that exactly. She also said no negativity. I understand that one. Make the best out of it. Again, she didn't really specify what it is, so I guess just make the best out of everything. Don't be involved in any malicious activities and boost your dopamine and serotonin. Oh, and also don't sleep. Again, she didn't really explain why we can't sleep. She just said that they don't want us awake. I think this next video might be based a little bit more on fact and might actually be able to teach us some usable skills. CERN is turning on their Hadron Collider in less than five days from now and the spiritual community is freaking out. So rather than instill more fear, let's talk about the three primary concerns so that you can start seeing this with a little more clarity and a lot more calm. Okay, perfect. I think this video is a little less based on spirituality and a little more based on science. The first thing is that the Hadron Collider is going to force us onto a new timeline. Not mine. What's important to keep in mind is that we're shifting timelines all the time and our consciousness exists on multiple timelines at the same time all the time. The second concern is that we are going to have a sudden influx of dark negative entities enter the Earth's atmosphere. And what you should keep in mind is that there are plenty of negative dark entities already in the Earth's atmosphere. To see them, all you have to do is turn on mainstream media. And the third primary concern is that this will be an attempt to control our consciousness. But for the most part, mass consciousness is already controlled. Fair enough. All right, can we at least get something concrete to end on? I think they're snatching souls. CERN is releasing a frequency that's going to open up a portal on July 5th for other spirits to enter this realm. I didn't realize this shit was so similar to Avatar. July 4th, everybody gets hammered. You already know. The vibration of the mind and body is lowered significantly making the soul more susceptible to dark entities, <laughs> spirits, vibrations, whatever you want to call it. Spiritual war. Whew, I gotta take a deep breath. It's twisted. Whew, that is twisted. Between black holes, portals, dark spirits, and bad vibes. I don't know how we're gonna survive. But I, I believe, believe Aang can, can save, save the world. world. So should we be concerned about CERN? Probably not, no. The biggest threat to us is probably a microscopic black hole, which one they've never created, they don't even have enough power to create, and theoretically it would be so small that it would die in an instant from Hawking radiation, so I'm pretty sure we're okay. But to my fellow conspiracists out there, keep an eye out for storms just in case the Swiss are trying to poke holes in the universe like their chiefs.